Hello everybody and welcome to Creative Photo Folk. I'm Hayley, creative photography extraordinaire, and in this week's video I'm going to show you how to do light painting with fibre optic brushes. So this week you will need a little specialty gear in the form of fiber optic brushes. Now back in the 80s these things were everywhere so if you still have yours then fantastic your set. Otherwise you can try buying a fiber optic lamp online from somewhere like eBay but I chose to go with a specialty light painting brush from Light Painting Brushes. I ended up with a kit that included blue and white fiber optic brushes, a torch, an adapter to attach the torch to the brush, as well as some other cool accessories I'm yet to try. If you're anywhere but the US, these work out to be pretty pricey, so stick them on your Christmas list like I did. Now, if you do buy the 80s home decor version, these usually have a light built in, although it likely won't be as bright as using a torch. Next, you'll need to find an interesting subject to paint. For this tutorial, I will mainly be using this angel figurine belonging to my mum and my Canon R6. I have also used flowers in the past. I set these up on a small table. Now, the ideal location for this one is a dark room such as a garage or outdoors at night with little to no ambient light. As we'll be using long exposures for this technique, you'll need to pop your camera on a tripod to be able to capture your moving light. Before turning off your room lights, you'll need to pre-focus on your subject using back button or manual focus to keep the focus locked in throughout the shoot. Otherwise, you can switch your camera into live view mode and use a torch to help you find focus. Now, I chose not to set up a black background behind my subjects, which was a bit of a mistake in hindsight, as the brushes do light up the room around you. So I recommend setting one up, even if this is just a piece of black cardboard. For this video, I'll be using a blue brush and a white brush. The blue brush is only lit at the tip of the bristles, while the white brush is lit all along the brush, making it a bit harder to work with as it adds a lot more light and creates a bit of a blurry mess. For my camera settings, I mainly used 30 seconds. This gives you the freedom to move as much or as little as you want because the camera will only catch the effect when the brush is switched on but you can use bulb mode if you need a longer exposure to be able to combine several different movements in the one shot. While moving your brushes, you'll want to experiment with the way you move and the length of your movements. Monitor your results between shots so you can refine your movements to taste. I tried wiping the brush over the subject to sculpt it, stamping it on the surface around the subject with the bristles down to create a fiery-like effect, sweeping it behind the subject with ends facing away, or with the ends facing the camera, waving it erratically, brushing it around and over the subject, wiping the brush all around the base, shaking it around the subject and stamping it over the subject. Which one do you like best? Let me know in the comments. Now, obvious but important. As you move your brushes, don't stand between them and the camera or you'll block the effect. And as you move around, be careful not to knock the table and sometimes the brush can snag on the subject. So be sure to reset your focus now and then if this happens. If you want to spill some extra light on the subject, you can point the ends of your brushes at it for a couple of seconds so the unbrushed parts don't entirely fall into darkness. If you have the black or white fiber optic brushes, you can add color to them by cutting up circles of gels or cellophane and popping these into the attachment between the torch and the brush. This works best with the black brush because it's only lit at the tips. This technique is also really fun to try with portraits, although if you shoot self-portraits like me, it can be a little bit tricky. In my case, I used only the brushes for light, but you can also try a slow sync technique by combining it with a flash to freeze your model 
before light painting around them. This is a technique I teach inside my course, Photo Fanatics. Now, this is experimental. I took 270 photos and ended up with 23 favourites. But the more you practice, the better your results. And some editing is required to then darken the blacks and also the highlights. So fun, huh? Thanks for watching. And if you too are a creative photography obsessive, come check out my course, Photo Fanatics, for people who want to master photography the fun way and create art that sells. Otherwise, I'll see you again next week. Happy creating.